What's on guys, Jamie here from JB Cars and I've just got the Triumph Herald running so I'm really happy about that. Changed the fuel pump and it should be all good. But I've got this little piece here that keeps falling back in the dash. So I was like, oh, I'll go and you know, take the dash out or whatever. But I don't think I need to because luckily in behind here, I can just push it in from there. This is the little piece that keeps falling off. So I'm gonna do that right now. If I can just reach under there, push that on. See, I didn't realize that I could literally get my hand in behind the dash this easily. There we go. I thought it was gonna be like a massive job and it's not. Right, let's see if she starts up. I've not actually started her up for a few days. So, we're in neutral. Choke is out. Stays in place, that's good. <laughs> It did slip round a bit, so I don't know why it's not staying there. But if I start it up, that's really good. Yeah, I think the choke needs adjusted because I, I put it in a little bit and it drops low. Just take it out a little bit and it comes up really high. And then it starts dropping again. So I don't know why that uh, mm. It's a bit bumpy. Switch that right off, get that choke right in. Oh my god, it flew open. Oh my god. Okay, but it seems to be coming through a bit more evenly now. I don't know if it's because I just had to get all the way up to temp, maybe push that in and get all of the choke kind of closed off. Maybe it was just still a bit too cold. Okay, yeah, it seems to be not too bad. The question is, when we're stopped, is it enough to keep the engine going? That'll be the telltale sign. Seems all right. See, nothing happens there. Nothing. Nothing happens all that way. I reckon that's the issue. Gonna choke out. There you go. Interesting. Right, well, that's my first little test drive with the Triumph. I think it's a case of overfueling because of that. But that doesn't do anything between there and there. With the choke doing nothing within the first inch of travel, it was time to get under the bonnet. This is the choke cable which when pulled restricts the amount of air flowing into the carb, enriching the fuel air mixture, allowing easier starts when cold. This is the throttle cable which is attached to the accelerator pedal, which when pressed allows more air into the engine. But as you can see, mine has a lot of play, which would explain why my pedal travels quite a bit before actually doing anything. So here I am under the dash and I'm looking upwards and I'm pulling the choke knob out and it's traveling a bit too far. And I think that's due to the plastic on the wire being a bit bunched up. And the cable here moves backwards and forwards quite a lot. I think it needs a bit of adjustment. And that is as far as it should go. But the problem is if I put it out further here, it actually doesn't do anything with the choke itself. It just pulls the line in. And when this happens, it means the first inch or so of the choke doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't pull anything through. So a few days later, I'm having a look at the cables and I moved this choke cable further away from the car by undoing the screws here and moving it over to the right so that there is less slack and then I screwed it all up again. As I move this now, the black cable cover on the right moves away and then back and then comes to a stop on the guide here. And I think that that is exactly where I need to have it lined up so that there's no excess movement. Originally, the choke wouldn't do anything for the first inch or so. Now it engages straight away because the bunched up plastic on the knob end of the cable, as we'll call it, was spread out. This gives the cable a stop end on both ends. So I'm able to pull it out and therefore it moves as it should. Lastly is the accelerator cable, which you can see is much less slack than it was before because I unbolted it and pulled it carbways, then bolted it up again. It now means that the silver piece here on the left is less likely to get stuck on the bronze looking piece and keep the throttle open. The pedal is actually usable right away with it not getting stuck in the down position. And so this concludes the test drive and cable adjustment video ready for a road trip in a couple of weeks time. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Please do like the video to help with the algorithm pushing it up and getting more people to watch it. Please do subscribe if you're a legend and I'll see you in the next one.